I see. I can see. Outside my window. I can see. I can see a big chicken coop, and it doesn't have chickens in it, but it has plants growing from it. And there's two lovely big wooden chairs. There's lots of little birds often, and lots of lots of lots of big bushes around. There's lots of pink flowers growing on some of the bushes, and red rose bushes. I can see. A pink deck chair sitting on the gravel. Closer to the middle of the garden is a little patio of other vegetables. At the end of the garden are some bins, which are also quite noticeable. We live right beside the sea, so you can see over to the other island, which is Mo. Clever thing is, we can see the boats going in and out, so we're never late. Little rectangle pen where my ducks have just started to move in there. Further on, there's just where I've been growing vegetables in the same rectangle place. A little circular piece of greenery that's about in the middle of my house garden. Three massive fields just outside my garden. They're absolutely massive with lambs and sheep, and I've got a barn just in front of me and a ruined house that's got its roof missing, made from stone. And I can see a beach just up ahead, just in the corner, with loads of rock, just all keeping it into a small little cove with lots of sand and a horse on it. And then I've got hills that go very high up. With vines on them, and they're very bumpy, and they've got lots of sheer cliffs. In my house, I've got a bench where I like to sit. From my window, I see old brick church with some some slate tile roof. There's an old garden with greenhouses, and behind that, you can see more、um, houses with slate. Tiles, which are also made of brick. Behind that, you can see the sea, and behind that, you can see the Ross of Mull. Very close, there's a big tarmac road, which is going out and down into another road, which is blocked by walls, fields and stuff. And there's some flowers around everywhere. You can make out several more stone walls around the side, with some paths going into、um, each house every now and again. I can just make out some. Like more houses that are in the distance when, yeah. I can see a stone wall, but stones on top of each other. I can see a stone wall concreted for firmness, with cracks along it and moss growing on the top. Carrots planted in the garden, ready to grow. I can see a small tree, barren from leaves from the wind. Tall grass, blowing in the wind, and almost being taken out its roots. I can see a little thrush in the garden, pecking away at seeds. I can see bins, green, black, and blue. Purple flowers, only a small amount, but all clustered together. I can see hills in the distance, rocky but with sheep climbing on them. The clouds, large and almost blocking out the sun. I can see a tin house beside a wall for shelter for animals. I can see a tractor. Beside a hen house made of corrugated iron, and a door with a cockerel spray painted on it. Sheep and lambs playing in the field. I can see a stile for climbing over the fence. I can see the duck house made of an old, long metal tube, cut in half, and a door put in front of it.
Outside my window, I see a bit of my front garden that's sort of in a triangle with lots of plants like rose bushes, roseed endrins, and lots and lots of yellow and orange poppies. To the right of the big triangle, there's a path that's leading up to my front door. And then past that, there's a bit of stones that looks like half a bubble with a fairy reading, like a statue of a fairy reading. It's just about the size of a gnome. There's my fairy garden. It's got three fairy houses, a bridge over a shell, and a fairy sitting outside one of the houses. There's a wall that's not too high, Behind that, there's the road that goes round in like a lollipop shape. You can see half of a house. It's got a circle on the side that like gets like all the internet on it. I can see lots of two-story white houses with black tiles on the roofs. There are about 12 houses in the horseshoe shape. The houses are quite similar, but the one thing that is different is they have different coloured doors. Outside each house, there are bikes, scooters and other toys that the children like to play on when the road is clear. Please outside most of the houses are cars that are waiting to be driven. In most of the house windows, you can see colourful rainbows and signs supporting the NHS. On the roofs of the houses, you can see chimneys, sometimes solar panels and birds sitting on the TV aerials. Today the sun is shining and it's like a pale blue sky with clouds sat in the sky. There's um, a quite big garden area with a road curving round past another three-floored flat with flowers at the end of each bit of grass. There's three houses on the right of the flat. Each flat has a balcony with three strips of wood across it. In front of the flat to the right, there's like little power hut thing. On our balcony, there's fake grass along the bottom to deck chairs two foot rests, uh, three shelves on the bottom shelf there's two flower holders with a white and a purple flower and on top of it there's a blue plant pot with nothing in it. I can see a medium light green bush and on the right of it a pale yellow and dark green small bush and along to the right a little bit more is a reddy purpley bush. Next to that is a light yellow green bush. And across the street I see more bungalows which have the pebble pattern walls with the grey slate roofs. And most of them have the same kind of bushes as me. And there's purpley reddy trees as well. A bungalow is when it's a one-floored house and the second floor is just the attic. I see my grill with a lock on it. And in that window grill, inside the grill, there is a broken sparrow's nest behind my window sill. I see lots of plants growing on the border of my complex. Another house and it's orange in color. I also see the next flat where there are some clothes drying. There is a handkerchief. There is a red checkered towel and some dresses. There are some steps. And the floor is a bit shabby, 
but there are lots of birds flying outside and lots of trees growing out. That there are lots of crows and sparrows in here. I live in old Kolkata. As I look out of my window, I can see a busy street. Team trams can be seen occasionally running on embedded lines across the road. There is a pink building and in front of it, there is an old people tree. There is a red and blue paper kite stuck among its branches. There is also a crow's nest with two eggs in it. A yellow taxi is parked on the road. I can see a hand pulled rickshaw ferrying a man. There are buildings scattered around. A few pedestrians can be seen walking. There is a man carrying a sack, which is carrying the sack over his shoulder. He is wearing a blue colored dress and jeans. There is also a man wearing a yellow t-shirt and blue pants. He is carrying a backpack and wearing sunglasses. The weather is very pleasant here because only when even when car, car, cars come, they produce less smoke. I can see two tall 17 story buildings. I can see birds like herons and two bright blue colored kingfishers. I can also see some greenish blackish fish in the pond. Next to the water body, there is a row of trees which we call Gulmoha trees. They have beautiful orangish reddish blossoms and the leaves are bright green in color. Next to that is a road and beyond that road is the parking lot of a store. The parking lot is huge and the shades have solar panels on them. Yes. So, outside my window, I can see the leaves on the trees can range from many different shades of green. There are also some rope types of trees, so it's a good use of nature, so people can hang clothes on them. There are also many logs, and these logs are very fat. They are bundled up together. It's actually the remains of a tree that has died many years before. Some pink uh, periwinkles with five petals. Uh, they are very tiny compared to the humongous, massive trees. There is even a tiny bench where I usually sit on and the trees that I climb are very easy but the more higher you go the more slippery and smooth it is so it's harder to climb. Sometimes it is very cloudy outside. When thunderstorms happen we usually have to duck inside but the trees usually cover most of the sky as they are so tall. I sometimes see monkeys swinging branch to branch elegantly. Our forest is like a jungle with elephants and monkeys and wild boars and there are lots of insects. For example, the monarch butterfly, which is one of the most common ones over here.